Welcome back to Metroid Prime. I forgot to actually load into the game, but that's fine. <laughs> this is going well. This it is going, going well. Already. Um, this episode is probably going out on Christmas, so Merry Christmas, everyone. This one is a special Christmas-themed episode batch because we're in Snowlands for probably all of it. Hooray! Yeah, look at all the snow. It's a veritable winter <clears throat> wonderland. It is. So it's been a few weeks since we last played. Um, Faye, do you remember what we were doing? Uh, we were doing some rad morph ball stunts and making bad jokes about red doors. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully our hint system tells us what to do, because I almost forgot we had to go this way. Well, that, that's good. I'm not the only one that forgot. I don't feel as bad now. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And we got these cute things. Yeah! Anyway, so the last time we played, we got uh, we got double jump. So that allows us to do some more things, obviously. Yep. I couldn't... This is like a really silly fact about me, but I could uh. never handle like double jump in video games for some reason. It just never clicks with me no matter what game I'm using it in. Why? I don't know. Do you forget you have a double jump? It's not that I forget I have it. It's just like... I forget how to use it, in a sense. Like, I know it's just tap jump twice, but... Yeah. Like, it, it's really weird. Like, in, um... Like, it even does... I even do it in uh, Saints Row 4 with the superpowers. Like, I constantly forget my, forget that I can give myself a boost when I'm flying. It, it, it's really weird. Hmm. It, it's very, very weird. That, that was that was your story about a random aspect of my life today. <laughs> the first of, of maybe a few. Who knows? Maybe a few. So, uh, we can't break that. Nope. But we did jump up here. We had double jump, and so we were able to climb up to this to this temple thing. It's a nice view. It is. Let's take damage from it. Yep, take damage, save time. It's fine, you're saving frames. I am. <laughs> oh hey, is that a birdman? Sort of, it's a, it's a statue. But we gotta beat up this, this guy first. Looks really painful. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, it is a birdman. Balancing the plane of existence on his hands. Initially, I read that's plate of existence. Well, it does look like a plate, so. What kind of entrees <laughs> do you get on the plate of existence? Um. I have no idea. Like ones that exist, I assume, but. It's actually not. They don't exist. Oh, well, dang. I mean, there's nothing on here. That, or maybe we can't see them. There's snow. There's snow. The plane of existence is snow. Yeah, because it's Christmas. That's the true. The game's getting in the spirit. Yep. <laughs> if I had video editing skills, I would put, like, some Christmas holly on one of the corners or something. Well, you see, and now then take it away. I well, can't see, edit video. you've actually said that. Look. If I can edit a particularly <laughs> tragic thing that happened in Pikmin with a You have a recording black... software. <laughs> or a, an editing software. I have Avicen. Yeah. The statue yeah. depicting a bust of a Chozo shaman adorns the door. Okay. Pass my gaze, seek my twin in this room. So you've got to find the one that looks the same and shoot it, I assume? Essentially. This dude's hands oh, no, are frozen. Fountain. Can we unbreak the fountain? Not as we are. Okay. I love fountains. Uh, chose a warrior. I chose a philosopher. A architect. And a shaman. And it's partially broken. 
and it's brimstone, we can do things with That's that, right. can't we? Yes. Aha! I'm remembering. It's only been a few weeks, we're all good. Yeah, I'm surprised I remember that actually. You know what my memories are normally like. A sieve? Yeah. <laughs> normally I'd be offended, but you're 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> More falling. Yeah. I love these Marvel little puzzles. So much. I also love that fan art somebody posted in the thread of Samus in the Morph Ball, like oh, actually like driving, driving it. it. Yeah, it's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm currently playing Pikmin too. I think in the fan art she was also saying like beep beep or something. Yeah, is... she's saying beep beep or we, which like are both things I would say. So I really identify with Samus right There's now. There's a thing. There is a thing. Oh. Well, oh, bye. Time to fight some things. Rude and, rudely enough, this guy will actually, like, or one of these guys can actually just, like, start shooting at you while you're standing there. And if, oh, uh, that, that's rude. The cutscene might take too long and you might actually get hit in a cutscene. So there's four of them here. But it's also a very big room and we know exactly how to deal with them. Yeah, I imagine this would be a lot more difficult for somebody who did not know what they were doing. Or when I knew this we'd happens. Be I knew we'd be meeting a parent. Yup, they weren't called babies for nothing. No, I don't scan the missiles. Ooh, we Jesus. know what they do, Samus. Scanning oh. the missiles again. Missiles in the <laughs> background. Samus really wants to know about these missiles, okay? <laughs> Hi, guys. Look at that. She got I'm not going to make that joke again. Okay. Uh, so yeah, okay. they're kind of weird. Um, basically, you'll see in a moment once I start shooting it, but it so the, absorbs um, shots essentially. So the crystals on its back charge up its lasers, basically? I charge up its ice, I suppose. But okay. you see, like, I'm aiming at and the, the shots are sort of getting dragged towards the crystals. Yeah. So the way to... There's two ways to fight this thing. When it does its ice breath, you see it gets tired and sort of has to regain its breath there. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, I can shoot it in the neck with missiles. I mean, that's actually real cool, because like, if you breathed out like that, like you'd kind of be a little bit out of breath too. Yeah, but this is a pretty difficult fight because you can't really auto-aim the neck too well. No. So you actually sort of have to manually aim it, aim it. The second way to fight it is, it does mention that it has a soft underbelly. So you can oh, roll so under can it and it? bomb. Yeah. You will probably take damage doing that though, because its, it's uh, belly is kind of low down to the ground. But, this is usually the way that I find it fastest to beat it. Because you don't have to wait. Yeah. I like, I like this music, it's very... It's... Mini boss, high tension. Yeah. All the missiles. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness. Hi, buddy. I think I damaged it. Oh, I defeated it. <laughs> and there the we go. came back. Yep. Let's see if it gives me some good energy. Yep. Maybe the thingy is just really shy and self-conscious. <laughs> Alright, time to get a cool thing. Our gun we is got purple. got some special effects. Wave beam. Yep. Oh, so you get different kinds of... We have a new weapon. Ooh, purple. Oh, that's rad! That's like extremely long range. It shoots trigonometry. Hooray! <laughs> um, yeah, no, the wave beam is uh, the second beam power up here. Um, in a departure from the previous games in the series, the beams are um, 
like selectable. They don't stack on each other. Um, okay. Wave Beam opens purple doors, as you saw, because that one was purple. It also opens up any blue doors as well. Um, but yeah, the beams do not stack on each other. Uh, previous games in the series had some stacking. Actually, uh, I guess the other games in the series, other than Super, had selected the beams, but it was a little bit different on those titles. Anyways, Wave Beam has electrical properties. So okay. we can actually defeat these guys now because it, their scans oh, nice. talked about having uh, only being vulnerable to um, electricity. Yes, I think I remember that. But so we can beat them and we can beat these guys. I love how the visor goes static when you're near them because of the electrical interference. That's such yes. a good touch. And then, this is the first instance we'll see of um, the charge effect. You see how the, all the electricity is flying around on our gun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when you charge beams other than the, the, the power beam, there are usually some sort of little visual effect to go with it. Unfortunately, those effects were removed in the, the Wii version because... Um, something to do with... I think all the effects are basically drawn on three, 2D sprites that were just drawn to make it look like uh, they're overlaying there and not actually like 3D models. And then mm. when the gun can move around freely, they can no longer scale and rotate the sprites properly, so they just got rid of them. That makes a lot of sense. It does, but it's kind of sad because they were cool effects. They are. Um, the next beam has an even neater effect. But anyway, we are going to continue on because the next things we need to do are still here in the uh, Fendrana Drifts. I think you mean Winter Wonderland. You're right. <laughs> this is a weird question that I never asked and I don't know why I didn't ask, but do enemies respawn? They do. Um, it's a bit... They do. Basically, the way that it works is you kill the enemies in the room, they won't respawn until you get two rooms away from, from them. Oh, and the reason that um, you killed one of the little uh, ice hat guys, mm -hmm. and then it, it came back. Yeah, they don't usually respawn in the same room. Um, I need to get him, he was in the way. But um, <laughs> I like that you're apologizing for killing him. I know you like them! Him. They're really cute! I know. They they look like the little ice cap guys from Undertale. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's why I've been... That's why I usually defeat them. Because <laughs> they will actually, like, <laughs> hit you and launch you backwards. Oh, yeah, they, they were fucking you up at the start of this, so... I know. Well, you're trying to forget, but I, I do <laughs> not forget your shame, friend. Alright. Yeah, we're going places. Yep. Uh, can I just jump through these? No. Alright. So these this is infamous. These two these guys over here are, are infamous. Ice shriek bats. They're the dive bomby space invader dudes from the uh, from other areas. Oh yeah. Except they only show up in this room, and due to a bug, after you leave this room, they never appear again. So if you don't scan them, you miss that scan forever. Oh, that's rude. Like, I know it's a bug, but it's still extremely <laughs> yeah. rude. They fixed it for later versions, and I believe you can find them again. Anyway, I that's just like, made them extinct. <laughs> that's like Dark Souls level of rude. Yeah. So... There is... Quick look down here. We is can't... there something growling, or...? Oh yeah, there are those uh, baby she-goths down below us. Oh. But there is a thing down there. It's a... it's a... It's a yep. thing? <laughs> we can't get it. It looks like... you know those, um... I, I, I don't know what they're called, but like the little, like, plasticky, rubbery, fuzzy things that you give, like, stress kids balls? to play with. Like a stress no. ball sort of thing? Yeah, but they look like they've got hair. 
They, I think I do. Yeah, they, it looked like one of those. It is good at relieving actually. stress. Mm. The item in question there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's a stress ball. Got it. It is a stress ball. It's a, it's an upgrade for a morph ball. It turns us into a stress ball. It allows <laughs> us to bounce around. No, that that's. How like, do you are... how do you know I'm lying? <laughs> You're the one seeing the game for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just thinking like you know like I was going to say you know get stressed out is just squeeze Samus, but they're like that that just sounds very. You already weird. said it. Oh no! <laughs> Just gotta own up to it. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a spinner device. So one of the other functions of the boost ball is to get into these things and you charge it to cause these little lock systems to work essentially. Okay. So this room also, has a a puzzle. Also, I would buy a stress ball that was made to look like the moth ball. That would be great. Just saying. Yeah. Free idea for your thread. <laughs> Go make money. I didn't activate that yet. I forgot to. Um, down here, there's another spinner. So I'm assuming you've got to find all of these and then activate them? There's two of them, yeah. And then I have to... Now I have to activate that. Okay. Filling with water. We're just gonna drown all the she goats, huh? <laughs> if they were in this room. Oh no, oh god. I'm I'm paying attention, I promise. It's okay. <laughs> so right now I'm more worried about these flying dudes here. So these are like those weird flying enemies that sort of phase in and out. Mm. It's just they're very hard to target. Energy tank hidden here. Um, but yeah, so those those flying guys, this is about the only room where they are annoying, just because they fly in and around the platforms that um, you need to jump on. I can see how that would be irritating, yes. Yeah, I don't see any more. They seem to have disappeared. I think that's because you killed them, friend. Well, I think there were two or three of them, and I only remember killing one. It's, maybe this is a bad thing. I forget how many things I've killed. I should see a doctor. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how many things I've killed is not a statement that healthy people make. You're, you're right. I'm a monster. It's okay, I'm here for you, friend. <laughs> we're, just, we're, just take, we're just taking this bit and running to the moon with it, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> this door has no power. I keep misreading things because I thought it said this door had no, has no purpose. <laughs> okay, that's a bit rude. Yeah, that door... <laughs> No purpose at all. It's just there. It's, it's trying its best, okay? <laughs> Save point. Yeah. 